picture of you with the box. A picture? Why? It's part of the protocol. Oh. Okay. I don't need to remind you how sensitive the material is. I know. Thanks. Good. Take care. Russell, did you receive it? It just arrived. Good. Listen, priority is to find the real cause of death. Early reports indicate suicide, a drug overdose, but I don't buy it. It doesn't make sense. She was too important and the timing was odd. She was a lawyer at GoAT, right? More like the vice president. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So now you see how deeply in trouble you'd be if anything leaks out. You're putting me in a tough spot here, Tom. Not if you're careful, Russell. Just make sure nothing leaks out. Why not wait for the full autopsy? Why do you need me? We need to move faster, and if there's something bigger going on, we need to investigate it. This is a one-time chance to catch them. Go AT has been dodging us for way too long. So you want me to spy on them through her memories? No, I just want you to find out how she died, which is legal. But if I'm right, it will take us somewhere nasty. I know there's something off. We just need to find out what. All right. I'll do what I can. Good. Remember, it's because of these people we're here in the first place. Well, we don't know anything yet. We will, Russell. I've been in this for too long to know it's not just suicide. You'll see. So, I've given you access to her apartment on Stratford Avenue. They're about to wrap it up over there. But Detective Stan Becker's waiting for you. He knows you're coming. You want to investigate the real place? You should head out there now. All right. I'll check it out. Okay, then. I'll leave you to it. Don't keep Stan waiting. And keep me posted on anything you find. Sure. See ya. This will take a while. I should visit her apartment while the memory gets ready. I shouldn't keep that detective waiting. I shouldn't keep that detective waiting. Russell, right? Tom said you'd come. Feel free to take a look around, but don't touch anything. Let me know if you have any questions. Yeah? Do you have any... It's a little early yet, but everything points to suicide. There are lots of loose ends as to why, especially considering who she was. Her laptop, for example, is gone. We haven't been able to find it. So who knows how deep that thing goes. Even so, I don't think there's a possibility someone sneaked in and forced her to take some pills somehow. But don't take my word for it. We don't even have the full autopsy report yet. Who found her? Didn't you get the report? It was her husband. Thanks. No problem. Quite a view. Go AT's new project. like where the body was. G 
Gzak sleeping pills. You need a prescription for these. Vomit. Broken. Looks like something was thrown at it. Is she going somewhere? Evie, ready? Yes. Okay, good. Please operate on patch 1.2. And scan for the latest memory you can find, ideally just before her death. Understood. This is when she died. Hmm. Interesting glitch on the clock. Reconstructing glass from memories. I don't think we'll ever get it right. Hello there, Joanna. Lots of missing information here, Evie. This doesn't seem to be the right moment. Yes. I wasn't able to pinpoint any further coordinates. Objective data is incomplete. Reasons? High emotional state. Hmm. She might have known she was going to die. Is there enough data to reconstruct a subjective state of the memory? Yes. Good. I'll enter the subjective state and see what I can find. Subjective reconstruction was successful, but I couldn't interpret all data. It's fine, Evie. Subjective interpretation is tough for any AI, even a special one like you. Could this be her as a child? somewhere in the memory, but I cannot interpret it. I need to know what it is and where it belongs. All right, I'll study it and put it in the right place. Processing. I can't. They have a constant. You can use. Processing. I can't. And they have a. You can use the. Evie, do a match with clock data at this spot. 